All right, folks, we are back. We'll wait for everyone to catch up and hop back on. We are here in the Fleetwood section. Yes, we are. And we're hoping that our video has gotten a little bit better. Yes. I'm not sure whether or not it has. So we're waiting for you guys to come and join us. We are live again. It might take a minute, John, for people to go to the channel and find it. Um, in the meantime, I tell you what, let's go through this 30 this uh, frontier. All right, let's go through the frontier. Until people join us. This is what? A 34 GT. It's a 34 GT. Looks like we have one person who's joined us. Look at if that. If you can let us know whether or not you have a good signal, we would truly appreciate that. And we are so sorry about all of our technical difficulties. What are you going to do? We'll work on it for next time. Hey, happy Friday. Is it good? How's the video? CB Skip, let us know. Yeah. Oh, it's good now. I should do something. So do something, John. Okay, let's tell him, everybody what we're in we, and we're show the in price. A, uh, we're in a Fleetwood Frontier 34 GT right now. We moved over to the diesel side. That's what it was. We just had to be with the diesels. I know. Look at this. Do you want to start at the front, John? This is no, beautiful. It is beautiful. Look at the cabinetry. Look at the fixtures. So this is the Frontier GT. There yeah. are two levels yes. of GT. Correct? No, no. G no, no. D of the Frontier. This is just a Frontier. There are two levels of the Frontier. There's right. a GT and there's a GTX. No? There's a Frontier and a Frontier GTX. That's what I'm saying. There's you a said frontier. a GT and a GT. There's no GT. Okay, I'm tired. I'm going to let you talk. <laughs> you get up there. Get up there and do your thing, John. GT is just the, the, the letters for this particular model. Oh, I see. Okay, go, John. Yeah, this is on a Freightliner chassis. Look at all the screens you have. You have your gauges, you have your uh, Sony with the CarPlay and the Android Auto, and then you have your cameras right there. And uh, you have controls for your shifter here on the lever. And then John, you know, we saw this first yes. at Winnebago, but you want to tell everybody what this is? That's a Mobilize, a collision mitigation and driver assistance package. So it, it, does, um, it helps you avoid collisions by giving you lane keeping assistance and among other things. So we have a question if we're going to upgrade to a diesel. We're going to try to do that again. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we're going to try to. It's the, our favorite Fleetwood diesel is no longer in production. No, they stopped making it. So we have to shift targets to something new. Yep. Okay, let's see the rest. Over my head is a bunk. It's about, oh, that's right. I believe it's a 500 Does that pound mean you want me to back up, John? Weight limit. Yes, okay. please back up. Go ahead. And the weight limit is 500 pounds. I was right. And next to that is one of my favorite things. Oh, these are comfy. I take off my backpack. I would be able to relax. For those of you who are just joining us, we kind of switched ah. gears and went to the diesels. Did oh, you these. narrow down what oh. you would like to switch to? What line of RV? I know. These are power, and I can't stay here because I'll sleep. Okay, <laughs> so John's not answering the question. What? It's, we're torn between Fleetwood and Winnebago. We are. Across from the recliners is this nice... Wow, this is pretty large. It's a dinette. I believe in this you can get the optional adapt table, I think. Yes. And it has a televator. And above me, more cabinets. I think these go, do these go through? No, they don't. They don't. All right, John, let's head to the kitchen. Oh, look where they put the sound bar. Oh, you're a Tiffany, you know what? I'm a Numar fan too, but I don't have Numar money. No, they're not. I don't want to spend Numar money. <laughs> oh, John, before you do the kitchen, actually, I'm going to show this beautiful, this is really pretty here. This is a nice cabinet. I really like the design on that cabinet. See, you and said just, that last time we saw it. It just goes really, really well with that fireplace. Yes. Exactly. Numars and money flying out of your pocket. <laughs> yeah, are they really? And then you have your farm style sink. Okay. And an induction cooktop here, two burner induction cooktop, lots of cabinet space behind your appliances. A very deep cabinet there. You can put all kinds of appliances under there too. There's your glass again. Adjustable shelf. 
convection microwave. Oh, that, that's a very deep drawer. <laughs> that is. Yeah. And then you have four of these. That's really nice. All right. And into the bathroom. Into the bathroom we go. Oh, step over into the shower. How is that shower? That, that shower, how is it? It's pretty decent. It's high. Look at this uh, new style. Uh... Oh, that's an interesting fixture. <laughs> what do you guys think about that fixture? That that's is, really different. It's pretty different, yes. Yeah. And then, let's see the toilet then. Perfect. That's a good fit. Yes. Yeah. And take a look at your cabinets if you want. Fixture is odd. It's odd. Yeah, Someone the said it's is odd. odd. All right, and right here. Oh wow, that is a nice size refrigerator, John. It is. That is really pretty cool. I like that. And lots of this place. This has lots of storage. I'm really liking this GT. It does. It has a lot of weight. You said you're really liking this GT? Not enough to buy it, <laughs> but I do like it. It has an adjustable bed, but that's due to the fact that it's on two slides. Oh, oh wait, so there's a slide from where, here to here? From up there. Oh, the okay, I missed that, yep. It's, yep. it's All a the full way. wall slide. Full wall slide on this side. Yes. Now we should show them what's in the compartment too, right? Down below the storage comp Oh, we didn't finish here. I'm sorry. I'm just jumping ahead. Go ahead. You are. This is a large closet. Oh, that is huge. Goes all the way across to here. Okay. See, it goes all the way back. And Whirlpool. Okay, so you can fit a washer and a dryer. Yes. And then here's your bed. Now this is on a slide. It is. They do have an opening for a hose for a CPAP over there, but they also have these small nightstands with 110 and USB. Awesome. Speakers up there along with the cabinets. So we got a question about the price. Ooh. So I'm going to turn around here and it's, we'll it's walk to the door. It's whatever you want it to be, right? It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's whatever you want to be. Um, so the price on this one is two hundred and sixty-nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-five, and hopefully, no one will pay that price. No one will. Yes. Okay, John. Yes. Do we want to go into the the front here? Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Show them this because these compartments are really oh. nice. <laughs> this is actually a double door, and you open these up. And you have this huge slide tray. Watch your head. This thing comes out on both sides. I really like that, John. I know you do. You now, love that. Yep. Okay. A spare bedroom. Yes, it could be your spare bedroom. I'm down there. <laughs> Go ahead and, and close that up. Oh, yeah. You do have to close this side first and then this side. And then let's look at this. The, let's open up this other bay here. Oh, okay. That has your surge guard, your dirt devil. Right, so this has a dirt devil system, vacuum system? Yeah, central vac system. That's right. Okay. That's very convenient. Now let's take a, oh wait, does this have that new, is it the new, the new freight liner, that V, that thing we looked at? Oh, the V-Ride. The V-Ride. It does, they all do. And you wanna explain what the V-Ride does? It stabilizes your RV a lot more, uh, the diesel RVs rather, the Freightliner chassis. Um, what the Freightliner rep told us was they took a whole bunch of people on a test drive, told the driver to go off the road, off the edge of the road and come back on. And they told the people, all right, we're about to go off the road. And he did it and came back on. And they said, we're, we're ready anytime you are. He said, I already did it. They didn't even notice. Yep, so it's really, really great. Okay, so this right here is, oh, this is a 36 SS. Yes. Okay, so I want to get their opinions on oh, this one. Oh, no, you're okay? going to go in there. I'm going to go in there. Oh, all go right, ahead, John. let's I'm gonna go you in, in here. Now, if you do buy the show, something very interesting is that Fleetwood is giving you an extra year of a factory warranty which I kind of think that the factory warranty should be longer anyway. They're it not long be. enough. Yep. Now, the same front end, freight liner, everything's the same up front. But the same. this has the adapt table in it, which this table stays like this as a desk. 
and then you can pull it out like this and then shift it around and now it's a dinner table. And there are two spare chairs in the back. You know what I like about this too, John, is that what? you can, when you, you know, not using it for meals or whatever, you can also use it as a desk because at the very bottom here, it has those indentations so you can actually sit, sit, there. sit up close to it without banging your knees or anything like that. And the other thing I like is that it also has this level and this level so that when you're done working and you want to have a meal here, for example, you can just move your equipment up a level. Right, and there's plenty of places to charge. It has two outlets. <gasps> Excuse me. Ooh, USB. John. <laughs> really? John, in front of everyone? Let's go over to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, you've got the fridge right here. Well, I wanted to show them this. Okay, that's snazzy. <laughs> that's snazzy. <laughs> What's this, 1938? No, just kidding. Here you go. Oh, somebody's got their beer ready, John. There, uh, there's another Too many John. Bears at lunch, John. <laughs> there's another John. <laughs> so this is a nice size refrigerator. I like this because I think sometimes they put refrigerators in these units that are way too big. Now, here's the issue we have with this because I kind of like it, but there's one thing I don't like, and it's this. So here's the thing about this couch, John. <laughs> but why don't you sit on it first, make yourself comfortable. Pick a oh, side. I'll pick this side. So if John decides that he wants to watch television from the couch, yes. and there's the television right there, perfect placement, right? Oh, that's perfect. But if the two of us want to cuddle up together on this couch and both have a recliner, we can't. Nope. And why is that, John? Because the other recliner is way over there. Yeah, so if you and your spouse don't get along really well, <laughs> then, you know, it's fine if you want to sit here and then you want your partner to sit over there. You're right. But... It's kind of, it's this long, long, weird, kind of awkward kind of couch in here. So I'd really love to hear, put in the chat what you think about this couch. What I am glad about, John, actually, why don't you tell them what I'm glad about with what they fixed with this oh. from last year, in case anybody's thinking about last year's model. Last year's model and the year before that had a panel that ran from here to the other um, piece of the recliner. And that panel was just a padded piece that snapped in, and it would fall out anytime somebody sat there and kicked it. And it we just... watched person after person come in right. and have to pick up that panel because it fell out. And sure, you could snap it back in. It had clips, but the clips were too weak to keep it in. Once somebody sat down, it would just pop right off. So the fix is much better. Yeah, they put, they made this an integral part of the chair. They just took the upholstery down. But this is not for cuddling. No, this is for, I guess taking a nap or maybe if you have to sleep on the couch? I think this would have been great if they had a set of recliners, even maybe three, and That's, they maybe had yeah. an end table Everybody on the far says side. this should have been three recliners. You know, it should have been, and they should have made it shorter and put um, an end table, like you said. So all about the banks. And guys, if you haven't subscribed to their channel, if you haven't checked them out, please check it out. They have a YouTube channel. They say that they don't like this couch idea. No. And uh, my dogs are goth. Or they're also agreeing with it. So, Because this is one of the ones that John was thinking about. I mean, I love everything else pretty much, but this couch has got to go. Brian says the TV placement is just too awkward. Well, it works in our 35K. Yeah, but this one's a little higher. So I think we spent yeah. enough time on this couch. Yep. Let's move on to the kitchen area, John. Oh, yeah, the we kitchen. We have a lot of RVs to see tonight. Well, it has a two-burner induction cooktop. It has a little bit of counter space here and there, and a lot behind the um, appliances. Farm-style sink with dark fixtures. It does have a sprayer. And it has plenty of storage space. So we have some questions about this TV. Oh, the so, TV. yeah, I'm going to sit on this far side. Yeah. And then I'm going to look. I'm on the far side of the couch, and I'm going to sit here, and I'm going to watch television. That's going to be awkward, yes. Does it swivel at all? Not that I can see, Now, no. actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit straight ahead. So I think this will show you better. I'm sitting straight ahead right now, and I'm looking at a bathroom door. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. That was a really good question. Now, if I turn, then I can see the television. At an angle. I actually but, have to put my feet up like this, put my feet up on the couch to be comfortable. Have you guys ever used induction? It's worthy of buying the, is it worthy of buying the special pans? We have propane and we have a gas stove at home. 
So I can't answer that. But if there's anybody else who's watching who can answer it, please, uh, please jump in. Doesn't your mother have induction? She does. But I don't yeah. know if she has special pants. I don't think she does. No, I don't think she I does. I hate induction. I know you do. I like gas. Now, if you sit here in these, in this, these two seats, you get a great view of the TV. Yep, just don't sit anyplace else. No. <laughs> okay, John, how about the bathroom? Ah, yes, <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Induction is good, but it's not that. There we go. Induction works with any metallic magnet pans. Okay, magnetic. Yep, got that. Okay, John. It's good. Yeah, you're sitting very comfortably. Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, these RVs are not level, by the way, so things kind of <laughs> swing. I guess they decided not to level any of the RVs at this yeah, show That would this take time. too much. Can you imagine the thousands of RVs and leveling them all? It takes a minute. Okay, yeah. go ahead, John. <laughs> okay. Cabinet. Cabinet. They're both the same. Yep, okay. All right. I like the fixture here. You like the fixture? That's nice. Yes. Yeah. Let's go into the bedroom. Into the bedroom, John. I will follow you. And here, oh, this thing. <laughs> Haven't been able to open this yet. Can you tell them what that is, in case they don't know? <laughs> this is a drawer, but it has a magnetic lock, and you're supposed to use this little magnet and put it in a certain spot, and it lifts up the magnetic bar. So it's supposed to be a way for you to hide right. your valuables and make it difficult for anyone to get in. Although we haven't found a single salesperson no. yet it can't open that it. can open it. <laughs> So it does keep your stuff safe. Even from you. <laughs> yes. Now you have a wardrobe here and there, and it has this deep, deep shelf. And then under here, you have these double doors that open on so, a Whirlpool washer dryer. Now this is gonna be really hard to wash your clothes. Like your bed is like right here. It and is. Like, I'm curious, let's open this up, John. Let's see. Yeah, it's right. It's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's kind of cutting it close, don't you think, John? A little bit. Yep. A little bit. We've gotten some feedback that um, it's kind of a boxy, boxy. Feet looking feel in this. Oh. All yep. right. We're back in the rear bath. And look at this. This now, is Now, they did a point. great job with this sink. I really like this. If you like this sink, please let us know. This is Buy really just nice. the sink. Perfect. The layout is bad. So I think people are agreeing with me, John. People are not liking this one. Let's get you in the shower real quick and get, them, get out of here and get to something ah, else. Come on, people. Let's get to the one that I like. Oh, yes. We have to go to that one. Now, I'm going to tell you what I don't like. In a lot of the diesels, you have much nicer looking showers. Yes. You, they usually transition you into tile at that point. Right. But you know not I mean? here. Yep. Okay, John. People are saying next. Next. Okay, next. Let's, let's get go out to of the here. next one. Go ahead. I'm right behind you. Run. We're going to run out of this place, guys. We'll find something else for you. We're going to go to a much better RV. Yes. Now, the next one that we're going to... Hi, guys. Hi, <laughs> no window in the bathroom. <laughs> the next one we're going to go to has a very different layout than most RVs in general that are Class A's. The one we're going to see is more like a, what you would see in a, well, I, don't even, I can't even say you would see it in a travel trailer or a fifth wheel, but it's not that typical straight, or somebody put it today earlier on, it's not that um, bowling alley kind of RV. So we're going to go into this one. John already left. John, yes. where are you, John? You left us? Yes, I did. You're just so excited. They so, said run. So this is a GTX. Yes, no, yes. This is a Frontier GTX 39 TA. So this is a step up from the Frontier. Now this one is a very, very dark one. I, I really think it would be better if it was lighter. Right. But this layout is very different. You now, still have your adapter table here. But you only have the one shelf. Mm -hmm. But this is thicker material here. This is solid countertop there. And then... And across from that you have your recliners. Yes. And these have deep, deep storage. Now, the only thing about this one that I don't really care much for is that if I sit down in this chair and I want to watch television, right now, I'm giving you my perspective. I'm looking straight ahead. Now, I'll stand here and you see how high it is? Yes. It's, it's up to my head. You see John's belly. That's all you see. <laughs> John. <laughs> so I have to actually look up like this and keep my head tilted back in order to see the television. Well, you'll be reclining, so maybe that helps. 
But that's the only, that's the one thing I really don't like about this unit. Okay, yes. John, you can show us the kitchen now. So now you have your living area, your dining living area. The kitchen has all of this counter space here, which I know she likes all the prep space on either side of the induction cooktop. It's a two burner induction. And then over here is another farm style sink. Let's see the sink. Now for some oh, reason, they sink. still have chrome fixtures in this one. You noticed that, huh, John? Yes, I noticed. Over here, you have a slide-out drawer and four of these drawers. And down below, a big one. In the middle, you have a lot more space for any kind of ninja or anything like that. And also here. Oh, we found the keys. <laughs> Let's go, John. We found the keys. Let's take it. It's funny they hid them on the pee trap. <laughs> and then over here you have these large windows. We forgot the refrigerator. Oh, yes, we've seen many. I'm sure they've seen many refrigerators. I'm sure they've never seen one like this. Oh, no, they haven't. <laughs> okay. But these large windows bring in a lot of light, and they actually open. Now, I do love these windows. I wish more RVs would have windows that are that high, that go from that low to that high. You know what yeah. I mean? I like that a lot. And then your control units are all over the place. Well, you would go viral if you took it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would. We think so. We go viral. Is that, is that what it takes, buying a, yeah. a certain type of diesel RV? TV placement is important for rain days. Yeah, I agree yes. with that. You know, we, when we go camping, when, when we were, when, ah, what am I doing here? When we go camping, <laughs> I really, really, really do like to just spend our time outdoors. Yes. Like hiking, kayaking, doing all those kinds of things. But sometimes you're stuck inside or sometimes you're tired and you just want to relax. Right. Some people are full time. So that's, that's I think that can be important for some folks. Plus, how are we going to watch YouTube? I know, right? Right? Oh, this is roomy. I like this. Close the door. Let's see how it goes. There. Once again, I really think they should have tile. Yeah, well, yeah. So let me see the fixture up there. Oh, nice the chrome same, fixture uh, there. Sprayer. Mm -hmm. That modern looking sprayer. And plenty of room for you, right, John? Yeah, this is great. And then outside of there, we have your sink. And right below here, you got plenty more space. Oh, you know, I hate when they do this. What? I don't like <laughs> when they put a, the toilet paper roll inside of a door. Folks, let me know what you think about that. Well, I think some people who've already been on a lot of our lives here know how I feel about that. We have not been to Hollywood Rambler. We tried to, and our signal got bad, but we're going to try to make it back there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want out? Oh, I have to close the door. Let me close these doors. Yes, let me out, please. Hey, John, why don't you go that way, and I'll meet you. Yeah. So this has two ways in and out of the bathroom, one from the bedroom and one from the main area. And then you have a door here that takes you into the bedroom. So Tell you really don't have it. to go into the main area to use the bathroom. You just go right to your door. That's right. Tell us about it, John. Oh, well, this bedroom is a bit unusual because you have a corridor leading back even further in this. And you have this huge wardrobe here. Look at this. Spare chairs here and shelving. And it's the same over on the other side. And you have... Four. Oh wait, John, I'm in a bad, very bad spot. Let's start with the left side, and then we oh. can switch over, and then well, you, I can get that. You have this large window, which is also your emergency exit. You have the this nightstand with 110 and USB, and a big open space that you can store things in, and this cabinet. And you have two cabinets up here as well. And you have speakers underneath with a uh, nightlight. You have also another panel that you can use to control everything on the uh, rig. Do you want to try to put this down? Oh, sure, let's see if it's- I think it's, it's from that panel. Yeah, it's gotta be automatic. Yep, we're gonna show you guys something. Let's see if I can figure this out. I need to know what menu it's on. Uh-oh, huh? okay, John, you can't find it, but we can tell them what it is that I'm trying to do. Yeah, it's a TV. So when you're lying in the bed and you look up, the TV is actually in the ceiling. It's a queen size bed, yeah. The TV is in the ceiling, the TV comes down, and then there's a control panel, which obviously is very complicated. Uh, no, it's just menus that I don't know. And you hit this, the TV comes down, 
But there's something else that you really need about that TV. What? Take a guess. Oh, you forgot? Oh, I think you can monitor your cameras and things. There are security cameras all around this RV, and that's kind of built in. And you can watch the cameras from the television up there. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. This RV will hurt your neck, <laughs> but yeah. the TV does come down. It, it doesn't does. stay up there. It does, it does come down. And it's really cool when you know how to work it, right, John? <laughs> yes, it would be cool if I knew how to work it. Okay, let's go show them the rest. There's more to this RV. Yes, we go back here, and we have a Whirlpool washer dryer. And you get a full-size uh, washer and dryer and in here, too. And what I like is that these doors get out of the way. It's pretty cool that they slide in like that. Yeah, I like that part. And then, next to that, another sink. That's a pretty sink, John. I and do like that. your cabinets with your drawers. Wow, they're stiff. They're brand new. Large drawer there. And then, behind this last door. There's another door? Yes. There are so many doors in this RV. Ah. There's your bathroom, right? And I think this is just a toilet closet. No, there's, there's, there's something else behind there. More Look shelves. At that. It's a linen closet. That is huge. It is. And the toilet, go, toilet paper goes on a little roll. That's yeah. perfect. Yep. That's, that, that part I do like, John. All right, guys, let us know what you think about this RV. Put it down in the, in the, in the comments because this is a really a different type of RV. And it's I'm gonna, a very different design. I'm going to share with you something. John and I were seriously considering this one. Yeah, this one was high on our list, and uh, I like that you could walk around the bed as well. Yes, the toilet is porcelain. Yes. Yep. So this, this is very, very unique. It's different. Of course, we would want lighter colors. Oh, definitely. Someone says, uh, Tracy says, nice couples coach. Yeah. I think so. And you do have that hide loft bed up there. So you do. if you have a passenger, it's pretty good. And what John was thinking, let's see, backspace would make a nice office area rather than a half bath. <laughs> the kitchen is not giving. So I think for the TV, for something like this, you could change the mount. Yes. If yeah. I bought this, I would change. I'd put a mount that could lock and I could unlock it and drop it down. Yeah. So it would be nicer. All about the banks said that they, um, they like this unit, they've been in it, and yep. they like it. They like this one. Having been in it, and that the camera doesn't give it justice. Yeah, <laughs> it is very pretty in person. Yep. Okay, John, where are you taking us to next? Is there any other options? You mean options inside of this RV, or do you mean options for us to go see? I'm not quite sure. Well, if they're talking about with the RV as far as um, interior colors, maybe? No? I'm not sure, but I think this comes with a lot of the options already in it. Yes. And I think it also comes, do they come with heated floors? or is that, that might be the discovery that comes with the heated floors, I actually. think it does. I don't know yeah. if this Oh, there's comes an easy way it. to tell, John. How? Let's go back in here. There's an easy way to tell. Oh, options that we're considering. Oh, option vehicles. Yes, there are some other options that we are considering. So but they are not them? in Fleetwood. Well, there's one more at Fleetwood. Oh, the 40M? Yes. Okay, let's go for a walk to the 40M. The yes, 40M the is a Discovery. Yeah. It is a Fleetwood. And wait, John, we should show them this 37 RT on the way. Sure, let's do that. Okay, so this We're 37 real quick. RT is also a GTX, right? Yes. And it's very similar to the last one. Well, not the last one we were in, but the one before. Yeah, the one before that. Yes. Because it has these cabinets with the glass doors. I know, it's really bad. Disappointing how the last one was delivered. Yeah. This one does not have the adapter table. It's yes, we are thinking about selling and upgrading. We want to upgrade to a diesel. That's we're definitely going to do it. It's just a matter of finding the right one. Now this one's much more open. And uh, go ahead. Well, you want to talk about the kitchen right here? Oh, a little bit? sure. It's just we'll another them. farm style sink, just like the other one. Two burner induction. A little bit less counter space on this particular model. Yep. It doesn't have that pull out. No, it doesn't have either. the pull out for the counter space either. And instead of the adaptable, it has the dinette. And if you come back here, though, all the way in the back, because you have a full bath there, this comes yes, with. Yes, there is. There's a question. Yes, we are considering other Class A's, but only diesel Class A's. Right. Yep. Kids, yeah, you're right about that. The kids are running wild. Um, wait a minute, John, but we're not showing you. You're in a rush to get to the, the Well, the, I was the going difference. down. I thought they just wanted to. Okay. Here's okay. your bed. 
John says we need to hurry through this one. See, we're getting people saying this one's nice. Oh, then, well, sorry. <laughs> well, we show the bedroom. You're in the bedroom. Show the... All right. Well, okay. we have space here and here and four drawers on either side. And here in the middle, your washer dryer. And guess what? You have room to move. Actually, I'm not 100% sure about that. You know why you have room? Because the bed's up. Because the bed's up. I think if the bed were down, you'd have less. Well, you probably no, have a you little No, you still have more room. room because I think it only goes out to about Yeah, eight. you would have more room. You're right. Yes, the light colors are very refreshing in this one. I like them a lot. But there's something about the rear. Oh, folks, tell me what you think about these doors. I love these barn style doors in here. <laughs> Let's get away from these pocket doors that everybody has like this. I really love those barn style doors. They are nice. Okay, John. But the thing about this, I think the reason why you brought people here is because of the office. Yes, this has an office in the closet. <laughs> I'm yes, sorry. You look, know. look, look, look. This is a closet. This side is a closet, yes. And this side is an office. With a large window and you have a built-in monitor right there. And yeah. lots of storage space here. Yeah, I love the face, fact that you have this big, huge TV right here, right? And then you have lots of space to put your work materials in. Yep. And then you also have a lot of cabinets up, up above top. here. Yep. Yeah, so there is a lot of room. And you do have a power supply in the corner there that pops up. Oh, I missed that. Yep, there it is. And one behind the screen. Yep, yep. I like it. Okay, now, to yeah. the other one we were considering. Yes. Let's show everybody what we were considering. We have to get it all out there, right, John? Yes. Do you know where it is? I do. That's good, because I don't. Oh. Good. Was that the one that had the weird thing in the bathroom? The weird thing in the bathroom? Remember the weird thing we saw in the bathroom without saying what the weird thing was that we saw in the bathroom? The closet office looks like an afterthought. <laughs> you see? That's what I said, John. It was kind of like, oh, let's make an office. We'll put it in the closet. Sure. That's, I, th I thought the same exact thing. So, okay, how far away is this, John? It's the last one on the left. It's the last one on the left. It's getting dark out. It is. Wow. Oh, excuse us. Excuse us. So you can... All right, John. So is it the one here on the left? No. <gasps> oh, I love this paint job. What do you guys think of this paint job? This is nice. This is the Amada 40P. We did do a video on this one. This one has the bunks, the, in, the their bunks own room. in their own room. Yes. Yep. This one. All right, this is the one, folks. Are you ready? This is the other one we're considering. Wait, John, you got to show them this first. I All don't right. know how much they can see in the dark, but this first storage bay has a pull Dometic. out with a Dometic cooler. Yep. It's a and, power cooler. And then the next one? This has another pull out. Yep. And this. This, you could put a kayak or two in. So <laughs> much space. There is so much space in this. And look at the size of this television. Oh my gosh, that is huge. It is. Yep, we could do so much. And then I think, how much is this tow, John? Oh. Wasn't it like 10,000 uh, or something, something like, like that? Something like that, yes. Yeah. It's great. Okay, so the show price on this one is $369,995. Of course, we never pay that. Okay, John. Oh, come on in. Can I, should I show him, John? Yeah. Okay, John. Well, how about we start with the dash? Well, it's the same Freightliner chassis yep. as the other ones. I'm just stalling. It just all. has a bigger screen here for CarPlay. You know I'm just stalling. And your rear view mirrors. I know you are. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn around so everybody can see this one. Hi. Okay, this is the Fleetwood... Discovery LXE, LXE 49, 40p. There we go. All right. It's a mouthful. Hey, oh, thanks 40, for joining us from M, Atlanta. 40M. 40M. The P has bunks. The P has bunks. Now, above your head is a drop down bunk. So I just, I just want everybody to have a chance to see what this looks like. Yes, it does look like a luxurious apartment. <laughs> it does. It really does. And, 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 and you know, the reason, the reason why we are thinking about this one is because someday within the maybe the next 365 days, we would like to go full-time. And we want to be able to have that space to go full-time and have enough space for our son to travel with us as well. Right. When he's out from school. Okay, John, back to the RV. All right, over here is a couch, a three-seat couch, which pulls out also into a bed. This is a pull-out. And then over here, I believe we can get options on this side but th these are recliners so are they heated no. i see you pushing buttons they have a light 
and they're in and out, and they come with these little desk things here that go, they're stored down in the armrest. I, I won't get anything for less than 50% off. As somebody was concerned about how much we might be paying. Yeah, no, 50 no, 50% is, is like the maximum I'll pay right now in this environment. Now this pulls out a little further and there are two folding chairs that come out from the uh, closet. We have- Someone the, says this rig would look good on us, John. <laughs> you have a televator over here with a sound bar above it some small storage cabinets all the way down this is all one cabinet though and then we have the fireplace there and some ambient lighting underneath and in case you missed it there's a nice size televator television on a televator over here i mentioned that Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't paying attention. I know. I was too busy looking at the RV. Why is the light not on? I was just mesmerized <laughs> looking at the RV. I have to be honest with you. I was like, in here, I was like, wow. I don't know, John. Maybe we should. Dinette ceiling? There. That's better. Okay. Now we have the lights on and the accent light lighting around here. Oh, is our focus going in and out? Are we having technical difficulties again? Oh, no. I hope not. Okay, let's get through this one, John. Yeah, and here is your two-burner induction cooktop. You know, John, I, I really like what Numar does with their induction cooktops, the fact that you can just take them out and take yeah. them outside. Fleetwood doesn't do that. No, they don't. No. It also has this, which I keep having trouble opening. It's just a dishwasher. It is. It's okay. What? You want to see oh, everything? Oh, look at that. That's really deep, John. Stick it your is. arm in there. <laughs> Stick your arm. Let's see how deep that is. I, oh, wow. One John shoulder. You know. And this pulls out. Did you pull this out already? What? I think I... No, this. Oh, no, I didn't. I think this RV has a bad signal. Certain RVs, we can't get a good signal in. Oh, well, yeah. I can understand that. Okay. Let's continue to go All through. Right. We'll go through quickly since the, the signal is not that great. That is a very deep sink. Yes. And we still have that one thing that's really odd. I think this is the one with the really odd thing in it. I'm you not think sure. think so? I think so. A lot of storage underneath there. A very large refrigerator. Oh, I like these cabinets. Those are nice. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh. Let's do that instead. I'm just kind of going fast because I think we're losing our signal the further back in we go. It's pretty. So this is a very pretty bathroom. I really like this backsplash. You have a medicine cabinet here with shelving. You have another cabinet up above the toilet. And definitely porcelain. You want to sit on that, John? Sure. I think it's going to be very comfortable. It is. Very comfortable. And roomy. Yep. Okay, John. Adjustable bed in the back here with speakers on either side and no opening for a CPAP, but they do have small nightstands with a wireless charging, 110 and USB over there. Is the bed comfortable? So I think we have somebody on who's thinking about it. So how does that feel? You have a smile on your face. It's a bit firm, but not too bad. Okay. And then hey. we have these large Closets. Oh, they lost us, John. They lost us? They're losing the signal. Oh, man, we need to leave. Yeah, so I'm just, we're going to have to leave this RV. I'm going to just kind of go back to the bathroom for those who might still be able to see us and turn around. Has beautiful tile in here and a washer and dryer and this washer and dryer in here, full size. Oh, we're back, John, so the bathroom worked. Yeah, the bathroom worked. Yep. Hey folks, tell me what you think of this color. This is a really, really unique color. I'd love to hear what you think about it. I don't think I've seen this one in other rigs. Have you, John? No, no, it is a unique color. Okay, I hear we are fine. This looks worth the money. <laughs> <laughs> this was a gorgeous, gorgeous RV, right, John? It is, it's, it's really nice looking. All right, folks, is there anything that anyone wants to see? Love it, you should have your son with you to help you choose. Ah, we wish he were here. We do wish he was here, but he does have school, and our son is majoring in genetics, so he has a very, very tough course load 
And as much as we would love to have him with us everywhere we go, yeah. he really needs to focus on his schoolwork. And he's he a does. good kid. And that's what he's doing, right? He's doing that. He's doing that. So he'll get to camp with us some more at another time. Yeah. Yep. He's one smart dude. Oh, yeah. He's way smarter than us. That's for sure, right? <laughs> yes. This kid knows everything. Everything. Hopefully other features are there, a.k.a. the capabilities for the cost of this RV. Everything comes in it. Yes. It even comes with heated floors. Yes. So it has, there, there are no options that you'll want to put on that particular RV, right? Right. Okay. Anything else anybody wants to see? Um, we have some budget RVs. We have some small RVs. I know some people were interested in small Class A's. Uh, we could look at some more really expensive things because we have an American dream here. If anybody wants to spend like uh, <laughs> half a million dollars, half a million, well, it's more than a half a million dollars. Six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand dollars. If anybody wants to do that, we can see that. And then we're back at the flares. At 30... Oh, it looks like they're closing up the RVs, oh, they are John. Closing up the RVs. Um, ah, they're closing okay, early. folks. I guess we're going to run into this American dream, and that may be our last one because they are closing up the RVs. Is there uh, many cab over campers there? Cab over campers. Oh, you mean like a Class C? Yeah. There are some, but not here in this section. Somebody wants to see a Holiday Rambler, but unfortunately, I think now we're clear. Yeah, we can't go past a certain line we found. Truck campers. Yes, they do have truck campers. Um, I think Lance had a lot of truck campers, and there are some other places. And Cirrus? Yes. yes. We're going to run into this one real quick. The cost of this one is 649000 We can all see how the other side lives. Pocket change. How the other half lives. Let's see what you get for that amount of money. I, I don't know, John. I'm kind of underwhelmed. <laughs> I like the other one better. I know, right? What do you guys think? How much for a flare? We'll walk over and we'll, we'll, we'll um, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to do the flares. I think Well, there's gonna... a flare right there. But we lose the signal in the flare. I know. Yep. So this is, this is what you, I don't, I, let me know what you think. Do you think this one is nicer than the one we were just in? I mean, I like the fact that the sink comes out, but it doesn't give me any additional prep space or anything. No, not really. It doesn't look like it's worth an extra 300000 to me. Does it? I mean, it's, and look, the sinks, oh, I see how this bath is. It's a split bath. It's a split bath. Yeah, you have Yeah. Your... I'm not loving this one, John. No, I didn't think you would. No, we'll just show it. We'll just walk through it real quick, Whoops. and then we'll see if we can get in the flare or if it's locked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My only suggestion is that RV with a dinette. Oh, okay. The other one was better. Yeah. I think we have a consensus. Yeah, no, no one wants us to spend the $650,000. So just so everybody knows, oh, look, we have 22 people, only nine likes. If you are enjoying our tours, please do us a favor and hit that like button. YouTube likes it when it sees likes, but like likes. Hit, they even like dislikes. <laughs> so if you're not liking it and you want to hit the dislike, that's fine too. But please hit the like button for us. It helps to uh, get our videos spread to a wider audience. And we'd really like to, to grow some. So I think they did close that one, didn't they, John? Yeah, they did. Is it 8 o'clock already? Yeah. The price, though, on a, this flare is one nineteen nine nine five. So this one is the 29M. Yes, one nineteen. Okay. There you go. So they're pretty affordable, and they come with some good features. There's actually one we wanted to show you that had two full baths. That would have been very interesting. Yep. Okay. Well, folks, thank you for coming along with us. We were willing to go much longer, but as you can see, it's very dark. They're closing up. And as you can see, all the, <laughs> the RVs are dark. Yes. And they're closed. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, tomorrow's video is going to be very different. My brother is coming up, and we are going to be following him right. as they are looking for an RV. So I'm not sure when we'll go live, but if you want to see what it's like looking for an RV and going along with us, um, yeah. Tune in. That's okay if we get locked in. We know how to climb fences, right, John? Yes, we do. <laughs> We've been trained. <laughs> trained to do that. <laughs> All right, folks. Have a great night, and thank you for joining us again. We really appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't think they can see us. <laughs>